Good morning, my sister and brother, Berta. We're here trusting that you are doing well. Happy Monday, happy Monday. Trusting you had a super awesome weekend. I know I did. I was at my my niece and her offspring baptism on Saturday. So they had a high day. It was a beautiful day. So let us go ahead and bow for prayer before we get into our study. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for this beautiful day, Father God. Right now, Father God, I'm asking you to increase me so that you'll be increased. Allow your Holy Spirit, Father God, to take full control. I thank you, Father God, for hearing, for answering through the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I decided to be early because my, my granddaughter, I told you she's still sick, right? And um, she's not napping right now, and I know she'll be up in a few minutes. So I just wanted to get the lesson done. So... We are at Matthew 22, verses 29. And it says, Jesus answered and said unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the scripture, nor the power of God. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and the doing of his words. So let's get into our topic, is to be like Jesus is my prayer. And it says, Christ, I mean, hear Christ's voice through the word. Hear Christ's voice voice through the word. Father God, as we cover this topic, Father God, we ask you to open our hearts and minds to receive this information. Thank you, Father God, for hearing, for answering through the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, it's stayed here. The voice of God is speaking to us through his word, and there are many voices that we will hear, but Christ had said we should beware of them who will say, here is Christ, or there is Christ. Then how shall we know that they have not the truth unless we bring everything to the scripture? Christ had warned us to beware of false prophet who will come to us in his name saying that they are Christ. Now, if you should take the position that it is not important for you to understand the scripture for yourself, you will be in danger of being led away from led away with these doctrines. Christ had said that they will be a company who in the day of retrib ret ret let me go back in ret retributive judgment. Let me go back. Christ had said that there will be a company who in the day of retributive judgment will say, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name have done many wonderful works. But Christ will say, Depart from me, ye that work iniquities. Now, we want to understand what sin is, that is it the transgression of God's law. This is the only definition given in the scripture. Therefore, we see that those who claim to be led of God and go right away from him and his law do not search the scripture. But the Lord will lead his people, for he said that his sheep will follow if they hear his voice. But a stranger will they not follow. Then it becomes us to thoroughly understand the scripture. And we will not have to inquire whether others have the truth, for it will be seen in their character. And we will not have to inquire whether others have the truth, for it will be seen in their character. The time is coming when Satan will work miracles right in your sight, claiming that he is Christ. And if your feet are not firmly established upon the truth of God, then you will be led away from your foundation. The only safety for you is to search for the scripture as for hidden treasures. The only safety for you is to search for the truth as for hidden treasure. Dig for the truth as you would for treasures in the earth, and present the word of God, the Bible, before your heavenly Father, and says, and say, I should say, and say, enlighten me, teach me what is truth. Enlighten me, teach me what is truth. 
and when his Holy Spirit shall come into your heart to impress the truth into your soul, you will not let it go easily. Mm. So it state here that we need to dig for the truth as you would for treasures in the earth and present the word of God, the Bible, before your heavenly Father and say, enlighten me, teach me what is truth. And when his Holy Spirit shall come into your heart to impress the truth into your soul, you will not let it go easily. So that concludes my devotion, my sister and brother. Hear Christ's voice through the word. We need to study, my sister and brother. We need to study, study for ourselves the word of God. Let us bow for prayer. Father God, I thank you, Father God. I thank you, thank you, Father God. I thank you for this topic here today, Father God, that we need to be enlightened by your word. And we need to ask you, Father God, to show us the truth as it is in Jesus. We thank you, Father God, for my sister, my brother that stopped by here today, Father God. You know our individual struggle, Father God. It seems sometimes, Father God, before one issue is, is settled, Father God, there's another issue right behind that. And so, Father God, we ask you, Father God, for the strength, for the power that we need in these last days, Father God, to keep our mind focused on you, Father God. So, Father God, we ask you to examine each and every one of us. If we have said or done anything, Father God, that was not pleasing or acceptable in your sight, Father God, we ask you to forgive us, wash us, and make us whiter than snow. And Father God, we'll forever give you all the praise, honor, and glory. We thank you, Father God, for being such a mighty God that you sit high, Father God, but you look low, Father God, and you have already, Father God, dispatched angels to answer each and every one of our prayer. And we thank you, Father God. We give you praise, we give you honor, we give you glory, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for hearing. We thank you for answering through the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Okay, my sister and brother. So with that, I love you. I appreciate you. So this is Birda Warrior. Find me at BirdaWarrior.com. There you'll find on my YouTube channel, you'll find a wealth of information as well. You can go to my BirdaWarrior.com. Uh, you find a free book. You also find a book that you can purchase there. Follow me over YouTube. And while you're there, hit the subscribe button, my sister and brother. So when the videos goes up, you be the first to be notified. And as you're there right now, just share, 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 share my information, my sister, my brother. There's a famine coming in the land, and it's going to be for the word of God. It's also going, it's going, to, it's going to be a spiritual, and it's also going to be a physical um a famine that's coming my sister and brother as we see the world coming uh, to a close my sister and brother as we see uh, uh, our great nation America and the the money system my sister and brother we have to make sure that we are standing on the on the right side on the Lord's side and he state that he will cut out all of our earthly support so we have to be able to depend totally on the Lord, my sister, my brother, because what is about to happen, no one is just not really, we, they have an idea, but it's still going to be worse than what people think it's going to be. So let us remain faithful, my sister, my brother. Let us remain faithful. Let us continue to study the word for ourselves. In it, you will find treasures. You want treasures? Go in the word of God, my sister, my brother. And with that, Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for taking um, for your precious time. I don't, I don't, I would say I don't overlook your time because you could have been anywhere, but you decided to spend time here. So thank you so much. And with that, we're going to do the four hugs for survival. So here we go. One, two, three, one more, four. Thank you, my sister and brother. Consider yourself hug. Consider yourself hug. I love you. I appreciate you. Until tomorrow. Let me see. Um, I should be here on the same time tomorrow. But, you know, like I stated, my, my grandbaby has not been, I haven't been feeling well. And so right now, praise God, she's sleeping right now. And, you know, like when we are sick, we need the rest for our body to regenerate, you know. So I'm glad that she's um, sleeping. I'm supposed to have been wake, uh, waking her up about maybe about an hour ago. And so I have not done that because I want her to rest. But nevertheless, 
you and I need our rest. So make sure, my sister and brother, that you are not only studying the Word of God, doing the, doing the spiritual side, but you're also making sure that you're doing the physical side, taking care of yourself, okay? So let's be mindful of what you're putting into your body. Be very mindful. With that, I love you. Until tomorrow, be blessed and take care.